Hello, hello! Welcome back to Dilly Dally Budgets. I'm Sarah and thank you so much for joining me today. So in today's video, I am going to see what's left in my purse after February week three and <laughs> reallocate if there is any money left. Um, but first, before I do that, I just want to show you some lovely happy mail that I've received. So one of these is from two different sellers. So one seller, I'm sure you can recognise the bag, is from Grounded Budgets and I bought this, sorry about the rustling, I bought this from her shop. So I've been eyeing this up for such a long time. So I've ordered Bursting Bubbles because it's jellyfish. I love octopuses and oceans. So I've ordered Bursting Bubbles and I've also ordered Moons and Stars. So these are beautiful. I got a lovely little thank you card with a combined power savings challenge. So thank you very much for those. And then unexpectedly, um, I received some happy mail in the post. Um, and this was an act of kindness. And well, as you can see here, random act of kindness, love Abby. And this is for Little Moon Budgets, used to be budget with Abby. And bless her, she sent me some lovely little bit so i've got a lovely like rainbow smiley a, a free they see me roll i got the i feel good -na 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 -na, savings challenge and the moon and stars and then she's very kindly sent me three of her tin stickers so i've got the one pound the two pound and the ten pounds and these are brilliant so thank you very much abby after a tough few weeks i've had um yeah, this really brought a great big smile on my face. So thank you very much. And then, gosh, it's the video that keeps on giving. I teased and said that I'd ordered some new coins the other day, a couple of videos ago, and they have arrived. So the first one I have ordered, I don't know if you can see this, is for the RNLI for its 200th anniversary. And look at that. Isn't that beautiful? So yes, so I ordered that one. And then to complete my Harry Potter collections, I have ordered the Hogwarts Castle. And this is to celebrate the 25 year anniversary of Harry Potter. And then I forgot about this one. I didn't realize this one had actually been released yet. So when I, if you saw my previous, one of my previous videos, I had the Tyrannosaurus Rex 50p and I bought there's three in the set and I bought them as a series so when one gets released um I then get get it posted to me it was a deal so it saved some money on postage and the next one has come and this is my favorite dinosaur it is the stegosaurus and what I love about these coins not only oh focus focus not only are they just beautiful, I love the fact that you've got like the skeleton at the bottom. And honestly, look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. So that was some little bits of happy mail. So let's see what is left in the purse. Now, it has been a spendy week. I have been out twice. In my new wheelchair, my new electric wheelchair, I have been, oh, where did we go? We went to a little retail park and got a bit spendy spendy, went to Pets at Home and treated my fish to a new ornament, um, got a new water cleaner to help with, and um, oh, sediment, like the sand and bits in the bottom of the tanks to help clean. And then, what else did we buy them? Oh, I think we bought some water conditioner because they need that. Then went up to Matalan and got myself a new pair of black jeans because I've been after some. And then went to Home Bargains and just bought a few bits out of the grocery money, like cleaning supplies, because it all comes out of our grocery money. So there's nothing left in spending. Oh, and they, then the next day I went to town with my parents and my little niece and I went out for lunch and I treated everyone to a lunch in the local cafe. So yeah, spent quite a lot of money. Now, groceries. <laughs> so I started the week with 150 pounds, which was still like my half of the budget. 
and yeah we've been grocery shopping and we have 25 pounds left for the rest of the month luckily there's just one more week left of february and we're pretty stocked up so i'm hoping it's just like the odd little bit of fresh that we might need the fuel money has gone the miscellaneous money has gone and there is nothing left in the sinking fund spends because yeah i've spent it i spent it i did take some money out of the shopping and days out wallet so that is now empty and change wise crikey you can always tell if i've been out because i suddenly miraculously spring up a load of change so that is the purse empty and let's put that to one side let's count this so we've got two three four five six seven eight 250 P's, 9, 20, 40, 60, 80, 10, 10, 20, 10, 30, 10, 40, 10, 50, 10, 10, 63. So that is not a bad amount of change, if I do say so myself. So, right. What shall we do with it? First of all, I need to bring in the postcode challenge. So thank you very much to the couple of people that gave me your postcodes this week. Um, unfortunately, only one of you was um, a postcode that I haven't had, and that was SK, so that is coloured in yellow. I haven't had anybody from... I'm just double-checking. No, nobody else from um, any other... Any other states or further afield canada etc um so postcode challenge just needs one pound now if you do see your postcode on here and um i'm not i haven't colored it in please let me know because i'm thinking if by next week it starts still slowing down i might retire this but for now i need to bring in my challenge binder and pop a pound in the postcode challenge so Let's pop that in there and let's count to see ooh, count how much count to see how much I have saved. So I've got 20, 40, 50, 55, 59 pounds. So that is pretty good, I would say. A nice chunk of money there. So good stuff. Right, let's see. So we've got about oh, sorry, got it. There we go. Right, let's see what else I'm going to do. Not the spending. I need to put some in a dingly. Oh, also, um, I'm going to reallocate my £200 that I saved from my Domino savings challenge that I completed a couple of weeks ago in this video. So I'm going to do a bit of stuffing and sinking funds and then do a bit of a game day with it just to let you all know. So, right. And then I've got my tin. So, right, let's go to squeeze the day because we are working on this one at the moment. And this is from Dingley Designs. And I am going to put £2. No, I'm going to put £5 in this one this week. So, one, two, three, four, five. Five pounds going into Dingley Designs. And I will just colour in two of the fruits so i will give you a fast forward so i shall see you guys in a jiffy right and there we go so i have colored in a lemon and i've colored in a watermelon so that is good let's whack that back in there actually i'll put that behind the notes for now so it doesn't spread um let's go on to the change challenge and this little challenge lovely little challenge is from cash but cute so i need to bring in alien so alien is getting today he's going to get the 20 40 60 80 one pound whoopsie 120 30 40 50 one pound 63 so 
close your ears, guys, because I'm popping it in. Lovely. So £1.63. So I am going to knock off the 99p and the 64p. Wonderful. So that is coming along nicely. Slow and steady wins the race. I am a tortoise, not a hare. And then lastly, with this lot of money, I'm going to bring in my tin. And this is from... The lovely Dingley Designs gave me this tin. I won it on a giveaway that she was in, and I'm doing one of her tin stickers, so it's the coin savings ribbon. Whoops. And I'm gonna pop the two pound and the 52, two pound coin and the 250 P's in here. Two pound and 250 P's. Wonderful, so close your ears again. It's gone in. Right, okay, so that is the coins done, postcode challenge done, and all the money is sorted from my purse, which is fabulous. And then let me bring in, because I'm, I'm going to do a bit of a game day, so I'm just going to bring this in now because I will need that. And I need to find the money. That's it. So I completed this challenge from the lovely Jasmine at Jasmine's Journey on Etsy and Jasmine's Creations on Instagram. I believe I got that the right way. And this saved £200. And I used, um, I did this challenge with my spending money each week. So I should have 200 Let's check. 20, 40, 60, 80, 91, 110, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90, 95, 200 all present and correct and I have been terribly rude and I have not asked you guys how you are how is everyone I hope you all are well so I am going to pop 150 pounds into sinking funds and then we're going to do a game day with 50 pounds so let's start with the car binder there we go and car tax so get this all out so this is to save up for the car tax for the year which is due in september each icon is 10 pounds i'm trying to save 200 so today i'm going to pop 10 pounds into here and this is one of my goals for the year to fully fund this so let's see how far we're off so we've got 100 in the bank 20 40 50 60 so only 40 pounds off of that that's not too shabby not too shabby, I would say. There we go. And then we need to go into the, well, what it says savings and long term, so I don't want to take off my lovely decal. And I'm going to go straight to Curry's, to the Curry's loan, because this is due the end of July. And I need to save £700 for my half. And I'm using the lovely citrus challenge from dingley designs and this is going to get 50 pounds added into it this week out of the money so let's just pop that there and i will just color in five segments so i'll just fast forward this for you there we go so there's a lemon complete and let's count to see how much i have saved so i've got 200 in the bank 20 40 60 80 3 3 20 3 40 3 50 3 60 brilliant because that means by my calculations that is just over halfway which is fabulous then I am going to go into back into my savings binder to Easter because Easter is quickly approaching. So let's grab the Easter challenge out and Easter is going to get £10. So let's pop a 20 in and take out the 10. Seeing good. I'm waiting on the offers to come through on Tesco's so I can... Um, yeah, get some Easter eggs cheap, maybe get myself one as well. So four, eight, 
10. Brilliant. And this little tracker saves £40, which for me is a perfect amount. There we go. Um, that's it for this binder. Then I need to go into my binder, the All About Me binder, and I am going to skip straight to Pride. So let's get the money out. And Pride is going to get £30, so 20 30 and this is happening in August. So let's just cross off £30 off this tracker. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. And I'm hoping to save £300 for the weekend. So I've got 100, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 200, 210, 215. Wonderful. So that is coming along rather well. And then finally, shopping and days out. So uh, we're on annual leave in March. So I am going to pop £50 in here in case we decide to go out and do anything. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Wonderful. And I believe that should be all £150 of the money I was stuffing in my sinking funds done and this should be 50 pounds so 10 20 30 35 40 45 50 lovely jubbly so that is ready for game day so i am using my handy dandy tracker from the lovely luna lolly and this is all the categories i have chosen to put it on i'll start with the five pounds and then we'll see where we go with the ten pounds so let's get started i've just got my little post-it note so i can write it down so first row is a five so let's put five there and that is mum and dad's loan emergency fund July's holiday. Number one is car tax. So that is all four fivers done. If I roll, I'm going to say if I roll one of these numbers again, I will mark that as a five. So then I've got another five to play with. If not, I'm just going to do it as ten. So we'll see what happens. So number six. So that is Lego and that gets a ten. Lovely. Oh, guys. There's a new Lego set coming out in March. There's quite a few new Lego sets coming up. There's um, Mercedes F1's racing car coming out. But the one I am most excited about is they're bringing out a talking sorting hat where his face moves on the hat like it does in the films. But also it will put you into your house. So I'm so excited. That comes out the 1st of March for anyone that wanted to know. And I think it's £90. So check it out right number four so that is going to get a 10 and that is all the big one that's fine so i should have 10 20 30 one more 10 pound left are we ready steady go number two okay i am just going to actually no so that is that one so we can put a five in there so then oh, we get an extra go ready steady go eight lovely September holiday. Brilliant. So let's find out the challenges and let's sort this out. So emergency fund is in this one and that is going to get £5. So I'm not going to count these up. So I'll pop the £5 in there and I will sort out the trackers and bits later. Um, right, I'm going to do this in order of what I've written them down. So car binder... Car tax is getting £5. And as that's just a quick cross, I will cross that one off. The emergency fund one's a bit more complicated. So that's another fiver towards that. Um, number two is July's holiday, which is in this wallet. And that is getting 10. So we'll put the 10 in there. And I will quickly squiggle out two more suitcases. Actually, no, that should have only been one. Never mind. The track is not right. That's just me being excited. 
never mind never mind right so that can go in there then the next one is number four which is the big one and that is getting 10 so okay we'll put 10 pounds there for now for the big one we'll do that one in a minute that was number four number five is my mum and dad's loan so this is for the money that we owe them and that is getting five pounds wonderful i don't think i can cross anything off the tracker no nope, because that is ten pounds that was number five number six of course it's my favorite one and it is lego and this is going to get ten pounds wonderful and I will just put that tracker out to remind me that I need to colour that in. And then, oh, and still in this one, we need number eight, which is September's holiday. That's good, because we only started that last week. So, let's get the tracker out and pop, yep, five pounds in there. And I can't colour in, I can colour it, actually, I can colour in a claw and two legs on my crab. There we go, because that's £15 in there now. Lovely. Do, 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 do. Right, and then let's sort out the big one. So £10. And as always, we will do the spin and roll. Oh, gosh. And it gets harder and harder every time. Right, let me move this out of the way. Look, I'm in a pickle. Right, let's move that out of the way because that is done with. And we need to spin first. Or shall we just roll? No, we'll just roll. We're not going to spin. Because if it lands on a 15 or 20, I haven't got that much. So, and if I've got a £5, maybe I'll roll again and swap it out. Right, so which wallet is this going into? Pink, wallet two, which is... The Summer Savings Challenge from That Budget Chick. Oh, and this has got a fiver in it. <gasps> That's excited. So we'll put the 10 in and take out the five. And let's quickly mark off another shell. Lovely. Oh, there we go. And then let's go back to the colours so we can roll again. Red wallet one, which is the reach from the reach for the stars, and that is from balancing the budget. So let's pop that in there. The yellow pen is to is handy, so let's just quickly whack in this star. And yeah, so that is the end of my stuffing. I hope you enjoyed. Um, I've enjoyed this video, it's been a lot of fun. Um Yes. Oh, I almost forgot again. I need to give you a joke. Right. How do you make a waterbed bouncier? How do you make a waterbed bouncier? You add spring water to it. Ta da! Yep, I'll be back in the next video. Right, I wish you all the best. I hope you all have a lovely week and I shall see you next time. Take care, guys. Goodbye. <coughs>